few things there following on from the vlog. They're a job to do. I've got a neckline to do. I've got a bit of fabric underneath there I'd like to cut out. But the sewing table's looking rather good, except for a dead orchid. Hmm. Okay, time to walk the hounds and then get back to some sewing. So back. I've been for a dog walk. This is life. Look. I think it's brought half the um, countryside back into the house with it. The other one's just as bad. Look at this. So, as you know, my tagline is running sewing life. This is a huge dose of life. Dirty dogs. Sewing room now overtaken by washing from the line. And as for the running, I think for now we might be walking so and so. <laughs> you go. I'm doing quite well here. I'm quite chuffed with myself. So I'm actually doing some cover stitching. So I'm going to try and video it on my phone. This must be bonkers doing this. Can you see it? So I've got wide. Can you see I've got the wide setting? Whoops. I'm not allowed to edit this. Can you see I've got the needles on wide? So for the baby lot, they're in positions one and three. And then using the plate here, I use the middle one to line up here and then the needles on the two wider ones. So I'm actually just doing a on the other one. I'm going to stop and show you what I've done it round the neck here. Can you see? Oops, there we go. So sewing round the neck. I've cover stitched the washer on that. And this is my other bit of pattern test where I flat locked it. Now the reason I've had to go from this one to this one is due to the fact I've gone down a bra size in the past three weeks since the pattern test started. See you all tomorrow. So when so Tuesday in the sewing room, I have my two tests that I've done. I photographed them, ready to send those back to Julia. I'm currently having a little chat with Laurie-Anne on the uh, mobile. But she's just, she's coming back, you can tell. She's just been and um, got herself a drink. And I, hello Laurie-Anne, I'm just filming. Today, this is my week today in Jen's sewing room. Okay. Say hello to everybody, please. And what I'm doing on my sewing table today is I'm playing advent calendars because I'm sewing what needs sewing, what I want to sew and what I'm enjoying sewing. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. Oh, here we go, folks. Friday sews, day to day, Wednesday. Oh, there we go. Now, just back from walking the hounds, so I'm going to flip the camera around and you can see what we're up to. Look, I've got a red nose as well. That's just from walking the dogs. So cold out there. There's some kind of storm thing on its way. Now, hold on a minute. Ta-da! There's the sewing room, so I thought I'd film the sewing room now. Now, I've got a whole load of stuff on. I've got my notes on my laptop from my pattern test. I've got my two pattern tests over there. I've got some patterns I'm thinking about there. I've got an iron there. And I'm rather hoping that somewhere rolled in here might be what I'm working on tonight. Um, maybe it's, yep, yeah, underneath the pattern test, which can go over there, the advent calendars. So I shall come back to you because it is the Beyond the Pink Door Zoom call tonight. So I'm going on the Zoom tonight with my dinner, which I haven't started doing yet. But this is real reality, folks. This is what it's like. Coming from work, I've, you know, I'm exhausted. I've got this cold. It's driving me around the bend. I've taken the girls for a walk, so I've got one panting dog here and I've got one dog that thinks it's time to sleep there and it's really hard to photograph a black dog folks black dogs are not the easiest to photograph so there we go time to um, put on a bit of television and get my dinner going the end of Wednesday evening the sewing room looks like we've done the first advent calendar all the squares are cut and folded on the second advent calendar we're well on with them gosh it's tedious folding them all but when you're a bit of a perfectionist like me they've got to be perfect so um, that's how far they're going I've just got to, to fold the other ends down if they get too hot you can't fiddle and I'm fiddle with them and I'm using this stuff here 
this double sided Rylene sticky stuff just to hold the hems down to make it easier when I put them on but tomorrow hopefully I'm going to be able to at least sew one of them. See you tomorrow. So here is Thursday in the sewing room. It's horrendous outside with the weather. So the dogs haven't been for a walk but I'll just show you them. There's one dog desperately trying to get a little bit of food. Um, I've got my hot chocolate over there ready to go. Um, great slim on it. I'm using oat milk and just a, a simple chocolate powder. So for my diet plan that is really good. It's only what we call half a sin on Slimming World, with my hot chocolate. And my milk, you have a healthy bay, healthy A allowance. You're allowed to have so much milk and so much sort of wheat-based type product. So it's lovely to have the sewing machine back out again tonight. Um, you can see my laptop there. I've been chatting to people on Zoom and Messenger. I don't know how many people do that now on their videos. Have like a, a chat. You know, I quite frequently do it with people around the country. I've chatted to Rachel, I've chatted to... Andy down in um, in St Ives, I've chatted to Lorianne a lot, I've chatted to a lady called Amanda in Ireland and Agatha from Agatha's Cottage. It's just such great fun to do. Um, and some ladies in Australia I've had a chat to as well. So it's the in just the internet and the sewing community brought together is fantastic. So I'm actually sewing these little advent calendars. I'm starting to sew little boxes down. Um, but I'm full of cold. I really don't feel 100%. So I'm going to stop for now. I doubt I'll get anything on this one. But I always let this one off first in the woods. Yeah, she's sort of the floods off. There's her own little thing. Always just a wee on that corner. So I'll just go down to the next one. I really can't cope with it. I tell you, releasing dogs and videoing is not easy. But watch this. Can't bear to be left behind. Oh, where are you going? There she goes. They've uh, not been out, obviously, for the past few days. Storm Bobette and my uh, oh, chest issues aren't, aren't conducive to dog walking, but by heck, look at the woods. That's a real beating from the storm. They have a, really has taken down the uh, bracken in here. Lots of branches down. And so, hold on. so here we are, Friday, not Friday, Saturday. Saturday for day today in the same room. Unfortunately, I didn't do anything yesterday. I went to see Hannah in a musical thing in the in your car pop it on thing in here was gorgeous because um, Michael's there, his mum was there, Tristan came over and a couple of Michael's friends came. It's opera, it's Macbeth by Verdi. Um, but unfortunately since I arrived and since overnight I've had a couple of asthma attacks. I'm really quite worried about my chest following this cold but I'm determined just to soldier on because I've got so many lovely things to do so I really have had a rest day today and it has affected what I can do in the sewing room, but the whole point of this video is that you can take your time and show what happens in life. And um, I was looking at the comments on the Friday so I was Made Creators group and Alison, who is so like Dotty, I'll put a link to her channel in my bio. Um, Alison said, you know, I was doing this, but life throws curveballs. And I thought, you know, Alison, life throws curveballs. And I'm going to persevere because I've done every day but Friday. <laughs> So I'm going to try and up, um, edit this off tonight and I'll show you what's on my table in the same room when I get home. And I'm going to answer the Friday Sew's question, which is, have you ever made a waterproof coat? Hmm, yes, I've tried and I have plans to do more. See you when I get there. I might put some more dog. So I'm still up in my kitchen because today's Friday Sew's question is, have you ever made a waterproof coat? And the answer is, I have. So have a little look at my coat. It's got huge buttons. You have seen this coat before and I'm literally just going to talk to you about it very quickly. You won't see my head because I think you need to see the coat. So this is the Ilford jacket. I have lengthened it. So the Ilford jacket is by Friday Pattern Company and I have made it in a soft shell 
which I got from Jenny Stitches. Now I did this coat as a Jenny Stitches blogger project. And I'm just going to go and sit down and look from the back. It's now getting very loose on me because I made it when I was a bit bigger. Soft shell is quite interesting to work with and I've actually got a piece of soft shell here next to me from my stash. I did consider de-stashing this and then I thought don't be daft doobie because the whole point of having a stash is when the pennies are tight you know you've got a piece of fabric for a coat. So folks just bear with, don't de-stash everything. I don't have a very big stash, it ain't very big at all. So soft shell, you have a lovely waterproof coating on one side and you have a fleece on the other side. I know that Jenny Stitches, and I'll put the link in my bio below, does sell soft shell. What she has, I don't know. I bought this from a company that is now out of business and it is gorgeous. I do have a few ideas of what I'd like to make with it. Do you know, it could make a really nice Kelly jacket, but it doesn't have, sorry, I know I'm looking that way. Let me just put this over this way. I know that soft shell does not have much maneuverability. So to put in your extra bucket, button placket, it's going to be thick. And then you're going to have to stitch it down. And it's not very forgiving. So this is the collar here on mine. Oh, can you see it? There's the collar on mine. Now, and I have top stitched it. You have to be very careful. You have to use a walking foot when you're sewing with soft shell. Or you need to have a good differential feed. And if you have a Teflon foot... Teflon feet allow your fabrics to slide through your feet and your feed dogs much more smoothly. They just help with that gliding process. And in order to get that perfect stitch that we are always looking for, you need to use a Teflon foot. And you need to think about what attachments have I got for my sewing machine that I can use. So I finished the inside of this uh, garment with the overlocker. You don't need to finish soft shell, it doesn't fray. And I used the biggest buttonhole I could find on my machine. There it is there. There's the biggest buttonhole I could do. Can you see that? I know there's a So Haley Jane thing going around about buttonholes or zips. I, quite frankly, I don't mind what matters. If I want to make the garment and it has that thing in it, I'll just do it. Um, I top stitched the collar. Now, and I flat felled the seams, which was great when I did the side seams. The only problem was, when I came to do the armholes, they were okay. It was the underarm that was the problem. For anybody who doesn't know how to do a flat felt seam, for anybody who doesn't know how to do a flat felt seam, very easy, wrong sides together. And the idea is that you're wanting your stitching to show because your stitching is forming part of the construction and it is also a decoration. So you will have a line of stitching here and then you cut the underneath back and you fold the top over and over the top of the seam. So your seam underneath here would be caught. You fold the top bit over and then you fold, so fold over the long side to meet the seam and then fold it over again and then you have to seam across the you have to seam it down through all the layers so it would then be seamed down through all the layers if anybody is interested i will try and remember i shall add it to my list in fact let me write it down now grab a pencil I've got a list of things people want me to do and I keep forgetting what they are. I am hopeless, guys, at the moment. Absolutely hopeless. Please don't take that literally. So we've got swimming costumes and I'll put down flat fell seams as well so that I can tick them off. There you are, I'm writing it in a book. Oh, you'll love this book, folks. Look at it. It's got my name on it. Running so-and-so. How cool is that? Isn't it brilliant? Put the right sides together. Trimmed off the bottom, folded over the top bit, tacked it down, then I folded it over again and put a seam through it. So you can see that I've got the double seam, All right? The seam went through the foldy bit and then all I did 
We literally stitched it up from the inside by hand. And cool, I got the fake felt. It said this is a fake flat fell seam because of the way I constructed it. So I have some more soft shell. I have ideas of what I would like to make with it. First of all, a thank you to everybody who's recently subscribed. Hello, great to have you aboard. And to all of you that have liked and commented on my last vlog, putting that vlog out took a little bit of getting right because saying that you want to step back from the masses isn't easy. Um, you're either, with a community like sewing, you can either be in the middle. If you think of it as, um, you know when you put a pebble in a pond and you get all the ripples out, you can decide where you want to be on that ripple. It, I'm not going to say where I am because honestly I have no idea where I am. All I do know is I'm not in the middle. Um, but I've no need to be in the middle. I just want to be me. I want you to see me as being me. Me that is stood, sat here, telling you about my sewing. I think we're always on a journey. We're on a journey through life. So it is you want to join me? Just tap that subscribe button and it would be great to have you along. And for now, I'm going to say thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Give me a like, send me a message, and I'll see you all again very soon.